Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories, brought to you by Nevada Hands, Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. Police say they have arrested a man who went on a casino robbery spree that began late last year. 33-year-old Deshante Stiles was arrested Thursday morning and is accused of six casino armed robberies and two carjackings. We quickly realized that the suspect was brazen and a threat to our community. At the direction of Sheriff Kevin McMahill, we devoted the weight of our organization to apprehend this dangerous individual. Stiles' arrest came after a Metro Police officer discovered a stolen vehicle in the 2300 block of Silverado Ranch Boulevard east on Monday. The vehicle had been used during a casino robbery that same day. Stiles has a long history of being a dangerous criminal and had previously served a prison sentence for the same type of crimes. Stop fighting and say, let's figure out a solution. That's what one Clark County commissioner is saying after the Animal Foundation's ongoing crisis. Review Journal's Jen Ah has more. Well, Clark County commissioners are demanding concrete action from the Animal Foundation to deal with increased animal intakes, euthanasia, and staff dissatisfaction. They're specifically asking for timelines and regular updates. During Tuesday's meeting, the Animal Foundation CEO attributed the pandemic and economic downturn to those difficulties, but says unannounced inspections turned out fine and the shelter recently hired about 12 staffers and are working to hire more. The local governments provide about $5 million yearly, one third of the nonprofit's overall budget. During public comments, some mentioned possibly funding independent rescue groups. Animal advocates who've been disillusioned with the operations at the shelter, they showed up in big numbers and made they, their displeasure heard during this week's commission meeting. However, Commissioners Jim Gibson and Tick Segerbloom say they would rather see the Animal Foundation and the rescue groups mend their relationship and collaborate. Lake Mead is projected to see a huge rise this summer as near-record snowpack melts off. When the snow melts, it finds its way into the Colorado River system and gives the reservoir a much-needed boost. The lake is expected to rise by roughly 22 feet by the end of the year. Log on to LVRJ.com for more. And the home of the Raiders is getting more accessible for those who ride on two wheels. The Raiders unveiled new bicycle racks and suggested bike paths at an event Thursday afternoon at Allegiant Stadium. Thrilled that we are extending by three times the number of people that will be able to bike here because it's not only it's not only important for the people who come and visit and patron this facility, but it's also really important for people who work in this facility to have an alternative option to get to their workplace. Officials say the racks will allow more bikes to be stored on site, while the designated paths will enhance the safety of everyone who visits the stadium. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, Avianca Airlines, South America's second largest commercial air carrier, will launch nonstop air service between Las Vegas and San Salvador, El Salvador in July. The nonstop round trip services are scheduled to begin July 15th and operate Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. And the Las Vegas Convention Center's $600 million renovation is officially underway. Tourism leaders say the West Hall will be a replacement space as the other halls will be out of commission during renovations. However, no conventions will be displaced thanks to a meticulous construction schedule. Now for your weather report brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every bloomin' thing. Happy Friday, everyone. Sunny skies with breezy conditions, but warmer temperatures are in your forecast for today. Daytime highs ranging in the low to mid 80s with winds as high as 15 miles per hour in parts of the valley. Tonight, mostly clear skies, breezy lows in the low to mid 60s. For the weekend, temps ranging in the mid to upper 80s. Breezy conditions will die down Saturday into Sunday. Evening lows staying in the low to mid 60s. We could see low 90s to start your work week. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. The Wee Bridge Music Festival and Expo aims to bring something different to Las Vegas while showcasing Korean culture and music. The Expo will feature a variety of booths celebrating Korean culture from food vendors to a variety of activities. It's a celebration of all things K-pop and Korean culture, and it's our first year, and they're looking to expand in future years to embrace 
uh, more Asian cultures. The three-day event will be held today through Sunday at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center. Tickets are available at webridgeexpo.com. And two individuals hit big jackpots. A Las Vegas resident was playing Fortune Pie Gow Poker at Suncoast when they hit a straight flush to win $138,000. Christian Short of Pennsylvania won $158,000 after hitting a mega progressive jackpot playing three-card poker at Planet Hollywood Resort. He says he will use the earnings to enjoy a family vacation. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. After losing on home ice in Game 1, the Golden Knights took a 5-2 win over the Winnipeg Jets Thursday night at T-Mobile Arena to even their first-round series at a game apiece. Mark Stone scored two goals in the game, his first since returning to the lineup. I don't want to miss this. I want to be part of it. Um, so just to be back in there uh, means the world to me. So, um, yeah, like I said, I mean, we just take it one. It's, it's a playoff, so you got to take it one, one game at a time. The series now heads to Winnipeg for Games 3 and 4. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Bruins look to regain home ice advantage in their NHL playoff series with the Panthers and are minus 154 road favorites at the Westgate Superbook on Friday. The total is six. In other game threes, the Islanders are minus 114 favorites over the visiting Hurricanes with the total at five. The Stars are minus 109 road favorites over the Wild and the total is five and a half. Lastly, the Oilers are minus 145 favorites at the Kings and that total is six and a half. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Make-A-Wish of Southern Nevada is celebrating its 21st annual Walk for Wishes on World Wish Day, Saturday, April 29th. Walk for Wishes is a nationwide Make-A-Wish fundraiser celebrating thousands of wishes that have been granted while raising funds for future wishes. The opening ceremony begins at 8 a.m. with the 5K beginning at 8.30 a.m. at Town Square. This year's walk will also feature a petting zoo, face paintings, games, food trucks, and a special performance and much more. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a happy Friday. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.